My Cinderella Story I hate glass slippers, not too fond of fairy godmothers either. Well, I ask you, there was me in love, yes, in love, scrubbing floors, being bullied, but my love kept me warm and sane. Jack is my love's name, son of the miller, and when he delivered our bread, my heart warmed to him, and I fell deeply, deeply in love with my Jack, the love of my life. Our escape was planned, planned, I tell you. It nearly happened. And then there was that night, the fateful night of the ball. I wasn't jealous. I was glad, glad, I tell you. Maybe, just maybe, I would get rid of a stepsister and her ghastly mother and sibling would have hung round the palace, never giving me a look, and then I could elope, elope with my Jack. Instead, I get the fairy godmother doing her magic, dressing me in finery, giving me a carriage, turning my head, making me go to that awful ball, the ball that would cost me the love of my life. Did I mention I hated glass slippers? Fancy giving them to me. Have you ever tried to wear glass? I thought not. And dance? The pain. It was agony. So when I ran at midnight, I ran for my life. The pain, it was awful, terrible, so I kicked one off. Big mistake, my undoing. Got caught out when I fitted that slipper. No more jack swept away. I was into a life of luxury. My father was so pleased. What could I do? I married the prince, Prince Charming. Prince Charming, indeed. I soon found out he liked the girls, played away, unfaithful to me. What can I do? No divorce in the land of long ago and far away. So now, instead of rags... I have finery instead, no scrubbing force, just luxury for me. But I still love my Jack, my baker's son, and if I had a magic wish now, with him I would be.